West London from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Chelsea versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Cunha. Cuts it back. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. The initial 11 for Wolves. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. Well, it's one pass after another. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up. At... Well, but tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Mateus Cunha. And they need to get tighter. Cunha. Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, they can keep possession now. James. Palmer, Enzo Fernandez. Moving the ball more than decently, but can they take the lead? Under a fair bit of pressure. Ryan Ait Nuri. Decent looking pass. That's a good looking shot. Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. Good work from Wolves to win back possession. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Crossing opportunity. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Over it comes. Was it a great clearance? Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Raheem Sterling.